Remember, in 2021, when strong winds caused a container ship to get stuck in the Suez Canal, blocking all traffic until it could be freed? Hundreds of ships patiently lined up for days while the world's freight traffic just stopped. Now, a similar situation is playing out elsewhere. The famed Panama Canal is currently home to the planet's biggest traffic jam, but this time it's not because of a ship, but because of the water. Low water levels at the canal are causing hundreds of ships to await entrance to the historic trading route, threatening much of the ongoing global shipping trade. Panama is one of the wettest countries on Earth, so how can the Panama Canal be running out of water? Join us today as we investigate what is going on with the Panama Canal. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Panama Canal is a 65 kilometers passage which is responsible for moving 40% of the world's cargo ship traffic. It connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and its construction significantly reduced the journey for ships traveling between the oceans. The route was constructed in 1914 and was one of the largest and most difficult engineering projects ever undertaken. It saved ships from making the lengthy and hazardous journey around the tip of South America, and around 900,000 vessels have passed through it since opening. The route of the canal reduces ship travel time from the Atlantic to the Pacific by about five months. Its efficiency and time-saving nature make it a crucial resource for the shipping industry, with an estimated 6% of global trade passing through it. The 109-year-old Panama Canal functions as a kind of water elevator. Ships enter a series of chambers and at each step the chamber gets pumped full of millions of gallons of water that lift the vessels into the next chamber. Each ship that goes through the canal uses about 55 million gallons of water that are sucked in from nearby lakes. As the ship makes its way through the canal, this water gets flushed out to the sea. Unlike the Suez Canal, which is level between two seas and therefore cannot dry up. The Panama Canal relies on an artificial lake, Lake Gatun, 26 meters above sea level, which fills up with fresh water. Without this fresh water, the canal cannot operate. There's always been enough rainfall flowing to these lakes, but this year, a longer dry season and a shorter rainy season have led to a shortage of fresh water to feed the canal. This is cause for serious concern as an estimated 40% of Panama's economic activity relies on money brought in from the Panama Canal and the canal needs lots of water to function. When unprecedented droughts hit, the canal was forced to restrict what's known as the draft, the depth at which ships sit as they cross the waterway. The more cargo a ship carries, the greater draft it needs, meaning some ships weren't able to pass through fully loaded. In August this year, the average wait time for ships went from less than a week to nearly a week and a half, creating a bottleneck. At one point more than 160 ships were hanging out waiting to be let in, and there were delays as much as 21 days. How can Panama Canal be running out of water, if Panama is one of the wettest countries in the world? In parts of Panama, it rains over 200 days a year. But in recent years, the country has also experienced unprecedented drought. What Panama is experiencing right now is exactly what many global climate change models have been predicting, and that's an increase in extreme events. In the 140 years that the Panama Canal Authority has been measuring rainfall, in the last 21 years, they have seen eight of the 10 greatest storms. But at the same time, the country has also had three year on year driest years ever. According to meteorologists, this real increase in extreme events has never been observed before in Panama, and water was so abundant that it was not on top of mind until recent years when changes in rainfall patterns were observed. From January to about March and April is typically the dry season in Panama. But that dry season was extended by a few months this year where they didn't get the amount of rain they needed, and when the wet season started around June, it's been less wet than the usual wet seasons. This has caused fresh water levels to decrease. According to scientists, a naturally occurring El Nino climate pattern associated with warmer than usual water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean is contributing to Panama's drought. 
The Gatun Lake is the principal reservoir that floats ships through the canal. A potential early start to Panama's dry season and hotter than average temperatures typical of major El Nino events in the country could increase evaporation from Gatun Lake and result in near record low water levels by March or April 2024. The frequency of major El Nino drying patterns has risen significantly during the last 25 years of the canal's 109 year history. If that continues, it will be increasingly difficult for the canal to guarantee that the largest ships are going to be able to get through. The low water levels have forced operators to cap the number of ships passing through the canal. In 2022, an average of 40 ships passed through the canal each day. This has been lowered to 32 to save water. Some shipping executives are bracing for more reductions later this year, noting that in 2020, a less severe drought prompted canal operators to reduce crossings to 27 per day. Each ship also has weight restrictions now. They have to actually have less cargo on board. The number of ships that are going through each day is less, but the number of ships arriving is the same as before, and so that's why on both sides in the Atlantic and the Pacific, there are several ships waiting. The Panama Canal expects to maintain these restrictions for at least another 10 months. The extension of the restrictions would give the canal room for preserving water before the next rainy season arrives, but this would create a larger bottleneck of ships if they do not reserve ahead of passage. Panama is expected to lose out on tens of millions of dollars in revenue because of the bottleneck. The restrictions have caused a backlog of ships and are likely to result in a $200 million drop in earnings in 2024 compared to this year. Operators fear shipping companies will start opting for alternative routes if the restrictions continue to cause disruption. Meanwhile, as Christmas holidays are quickly approaching, consumers around the world are rushing to online retailers, looking to order presents, decorations, and other consumer goods in preparation for the festive season. The restrictions put in place in the canal put a strain on the amount of goods being exported. The supply shortage caused by shipping delays also leads to a rise in goods prices. The canal is not the only issue. The main sources of water that supply the canal also supply half of Panama's population with drinking water. The challenge that the Panama Canal Authority has is to provide enough water for its business and at the same time provide sufficient drinking water for the million plus people who depend on the Panama Canal watershed for their drinking water. So how will Panama solve its water problem? The canal authorities are pursuing a two-pronged approach. The first is to develop better storage options precisely to be able to store some of that water that eventually goes into the ocean. The second is to find new sources of water. Panama officials plan to spend $2 billion to redirect more rivers toward the man-made lake to supply the man-made canal, but environmentalists worry that diverting water will have repercussions on the ecosystem. The Panama Canal drought proves that climate change and naturally occurring weather phenomenon have the ability to impact all aspects of life not only placing severe impacts on biodiversity and human health, but also hindering the global economy. What do you think? Will the Panama Canal meet its fate very soon due to adverse weather? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.